and the emanation like like rain that dress upon the soul and dress upon the heart that the immensity of the mercy and to realize what type of mercy Allah is dressing upon this creation and dressing it for the favour and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad so that his nation shine, his nation is, is polished and, and nurani on the day of judgment they raise say, how this nation shines like this? That they look ilahi, they look divine with the lights that they shine from. That's the, the secret of Ramadan in which Allah push all the badness down and fill their souls with light so that He can make Sayyidina Muhammad so victorious on the Day of Judgment. Look at, look at the nation of this Sultan in which his, his people are glowing and emanating with lights. We pray that Allah dress us from those lights and those blessings inshaAllah and grant us the strength and a himmah in which to, to reach to people and to be of service, to live a life of service. If you have the ability and the means in which to serve, alhamdulillah. If you have the ability to make and earn your rizq then support those whom are of service to Sayyidina Muhammad and then the chain keeps moving. The chain and the train keeps going, those whom can support they support, those whom can be of service they serve and in the end everybody sleeps content and happy that Sayyidina Muhammad is happy with them and their product is visible, their videos are visible, their books are visible, their apps are visible, their articles are visible, the teachings are visible, it's not a philosophy it's an action. When you can see the product of the actions then the proof is in the pudding. InshaAllah Allah give us all more and more himma those who are online watching now in the hundreds that they can share, share the feed, share the, the product pages, share the, the, the book page, share go to Amazon and share the book on your side, share, share video, any type of service that we can do so that we gain the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad that we're all, all in search of the nazar and to continuously be under the nazar. It's not one time you're under the nazar but you're in continuous competition for the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidi Rasul Kareem and say our seat at his, our face and head at his holy feet that give me good amal so that you be happy with me and that you're shining and happiness and smiling upon me. And that's the competition in deen is that we're competing for the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad We're not of the people who don't even understand that reality but we are of the people whom are deep within the understanding of that reality. So we're always looking how to do more, how to reach more, how to be of, of service more. So alhamdulillah that Allah inshaAllah dress us all, bless us all and take away difficulties, those whom are in difficulties to learn how to contemplate, learn how to meditate. When emails are coming in that people are sick, people are scared, people are under attack, spiritual attack, this is the school of tafakkur. You have to learn how to connect your heart, how to lose yourself and that you, your identity of yourself is to weaken the nafs, to lower the nafs and to train yourself to always be in the presence of the shaykh that I'm hearing them, seeing them now and I always should see myself in that presence. That that presence should never be ending as I'm seeing them now when I close my eyes I should always see that and that when I'm meditating I should always see that and I should be asking that your face to enter into my heart, your light to enter into my heart and that I'm nothing and abdukul ajeezu da'eefu miskeen al and that let my, my identity to disappear and to vanish and that I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm uh, like a dust. If we can take ourselves to be nothing and to be nothing and to be nothing then that reflection wholly can be transferred upon the student where not only the light is entering into their heart but they have left and the hudur and the presence of the shaykh has appeared upon them. The muhabbat has appeared upon them, the annihilation has appeared upon them and then they are taken 
in the presence of the Prophet And again that whole relationship is then reinforced again to have an immense ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad Through that teachings it brings in that muhabbat, an immense muhabbat. Then they keep teaching that in all the salawats and all the zikr and all the meditation keep yourself in the presence. That's why you focus on Ruza Sharif. As soon as you're focusing on Ruza Sharif then you're always in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad until the day in which Prophet ruhaniyat and life begin to enter into that servant's heart. And when the light of Prophet enter into the heart of that servant they begin to vanish, they begin to vanish and they begin to vanish until the fana and the light of Prophet is dressing them and blessing them. That's why we said that these associations are not the conveyance of knowledge. The knowledge is just the byproduct to show you at what power and what angelic light is dressing upon their souls. The knowledge is, is not, knowledge is just the byproduct of, of the result of who they are. The light and the angelic light that reaching them and dressing them, of course it produces Divinely knowledges. And as a result the light and what's important is when that light and that ruhaniyat of the shaykh is depositing the light of Sayyidina Muhammad is like a, a distribution from Sayyidina Qasim that all his muhibbeen and all his ashiqeen they are all distributors of that light. And as soon as you come into their presence they're reflecting lights into the heart, light into the heart, light into the heart and the servant is being dressed upon their soul with these lights and, uh, and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah give more and more and more and more understanding in the holy month of Ramadan, the immensity of what been given through the taruqs. The immensity and the love that been given through the taruqs and a way in which to reach Allah's divine dissatisfaction in which He looked to them, these are the schools which make Muhammadiyoon. You know when you love someone so much Allah's love for Sayyidina Muhammad that all this creation is created for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad when we only get an understanding and a drop of the immensity of that love then we understand that when Allah love this creation, created creation in its image. What's the image of Allah It's called Muhammadun Rasulullah When Allah said, I created this creation in my image, Allah has no image. But in this image means coming from this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah are created it all for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad For Allah is not in need of anything, He's not in need of a creation and He's not in need of something to worship Him. Allah is free from everything. But this creation and its infinite universe is created as a gift for Sayyidina Muhammad so imagine then when Allah wants that love and what He wants from that love is He wants to see Muhammadiyoon because that's what He loves. So how much He loves when you wear the turban, how much He loves when you keeping the majestic and beautific sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad The angels, there are hadiths where the angels love the image of the Muhammadan, they love the one whom wears the turban, they support the one whom is in the shaykh in, in, the, in the way of the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad Why? Because the angels are a reflection of Allah's Divinely love. They know nothing but what Allah has programmed them. They don't have a will of their own. They love what Allah loves and as a result when we understood what the angels love, you understood what Allah loves. So that when we're doing what we're doing, Allah is pleased with these Muhammadiyoon, those whom they're, they're looking like the Sultan, acting like the Sultan, having a love like the Sultan, Allah yuhibbukumullah, Allah's Divine love begin to dress upon them. And that blessing and that emanation begin to fragrant them and beautify them 
in which they are like a Kaaba and a Qibla, that people are attracted to them, to their teachings, to their way. Not because of anything from them but whatever love Allah has poured upon their soul like a magnet that signal goes out and people are being drawn to it. They come and they say, we found the channel, we found the book, we found the this, we found an article. How they found that? How they find that? Because it's the juzbah and the magnetic pull from Allah is Divinely light and Divinely love. It begins to send a signal and like a magnet it turns the other person's magnet towards them and begin to pull them in towards the Muhammadan reality. That we pray Allah give more and more of these lights and more and more of these blessings and the immensity of this light that is needed for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi salam. Not for Sayyidina Mahdi but for ourselves to have that light, to have that level of purity, that level of, of guidance that to be from the Muhammadiyoon and Mahdiyoon inshaAllah. That the light of Sayyidina Mahdi salam to dress us and bless us and make us to be all Mahdiyoon inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.